another Killer Planes video. So there it is. This is the top RC FW190. A massive, solid, seriously well-built plane. This is a Dynam Spitfire, so you can see the relative size of these things. This is about the same size, but the similarity ends there. The Dynam is, you know, not as finished as this plane. If this is a nice job, this is a beautiful job. Everything from the curve of the covers on the wheels, like I'll roll this around so you can see the curves in there, the way that the wheel covers are curved and around the curve of the wing. That job, the entire nose, this is one huge honking solid plastic nose all the way back to here. We're not talking the light grade plastics like on a whole bunch of other manufacturers, including FMS. This is solid, massive stuff. This thing's way lighter and you can see probably how heavy duty this is. Um, and it's way lighter than this. So this whole thing, this is plastic, this is plastic. It's got a big, solid, honking, very firm, what's the uh, word? It's a stiff propeller. And um, got a lot of meat to it, real serious airfoils on it. So meat. this baby cuts the air. This plane goes as fast on a three cell battery as the Dynamas go on a four cell battery. So you have more economical flying. It flies beautifully, it's a heavier plane. So uh, this one, in theory, is 1,600 grams compared to the 11 or 1,200 grams of the Dynam. Both of them are even heavier than that because we've crash-proofed them and put in larger batteries. But, you know, we're talking, this is a work of art, this plane. So here, let's just show them the, uh, the gear work one time. So the gear goes up, the doors close up. Gorgeous. This is gorgeous. The doors open up, the gears come down. Yeah, baby. So I'm gonna put this up in the air. We're gonna fly it around. We're gonna show you how beautiful it is. You're gonna say, oh, I want one. We're just gonna have to be able to get them for you at killerplanes.com. This is fully crash-proofed once again. This particular plane has, I don't know, a lot of rods in it. Whenever we can cram them in, if there's meat enough to put them into, mm -hmm. just, we put them in, which means that the meteor planes, the ones that are better built in the first place, get more rods in them. It sounds backwards, I know, but there's something for the rods to hold on to and go into. So this thing is seriously well crash-proofed. I am not testing the crash-proofing. Thank you. Also, did we mention that this has shiny lights flashing on the wingtips? Red on this side, green on that side. Why? So you can fly at night. You just see two flashing lights. Yeah, that'll help. So the thing actually that I want to show you is, see this? These are sprung. These are really good steel landing gear uh, twirled into springs here, which means that these things have spring in them, which means that they don't bend when you plop it down a little too hard. Like the Dynam and a lot of other aircraft like this have straight legs on them. You hit it a little hard, it's going to bend your leg. Wheels won't go up anymore, blah, blah, blah. This one, that doesn't happen. Ball flaps down. Working, working, working. Ooh, wiggle that butt. Yeah, baby. Woo! Here we go. Beautiful takeoff. Much better light than the other day. Oh, what a plane, what a plane. Look at this sucker. Oh. And I have it on half throttle this whole time so far. This is a three cell battery, okay? Three cell battery. I have this on half throttle and it's a, you know, a 1600 gram plane to start with. Um, but the way that we have it set up now, it's probably closer to 1800 or maybe even 1900. I'm gonna have to weigh it. But, okay, let's nail it. Wow. No, I had it on more than half throttle. I had it on about three quarter. I thought it was half where my thumb was, but. I love the sound she makes. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, she's cool. What a flyer. What a flyer this thing is. Oh man. Oh. 
Wow! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Give me planes like this all the time. <laughs> Look at this sucker go! Three cell battery. Unbelievable. This is a serious performance plane. This was designed by Mr. Liang at HC Hobby before they went out of business. And they never produced this plane. I had one of the original production, like I think they produced 12 of them or something. And I had one of them. Gorgeous plane, never flew it. He knows what because, he's doing, huh? Oh man, this guy is some designer. Let me tell you. He also designed the 1875 millimeter B-17. So if you're into a B-17, it's almost a guaranteed thing that that one would be a real kicker compared to the other ones because this guy is a serious great designer. He designed the Mosquito, the HC Hobby B-25, this plane, the HC Hobby A-10, which is just a stunningly beautiful version of the A-10. Oh, that was a nice pass. Man, man I'm telling you. Oh, she's beautiful. Wow. Gorgeous plane. And also quite responsive. I just let it go a little too far there and I snapped it up. Oh, look at her. Go. Oh, yeah. Let's do a little loop. Let's do over the top. What would you call that? Wow. Did you hear that crop sound when I slowed it down? I love the sound. Oh, Listen. look at that. And you tighten the prop, right? I did, but does it sound like something's going on? Yeah, it does. Uh oh. I think that's just when I slow it down, that's the okay. sound it makes. Maybe we should bring it in and check the prop. Yeah, it's so pretty. I don't want you to crash it. <laughs> no, that would suck. I'm thinking about that Corsair that you... Oh, she is something else. What a beautiful plane, oh, man. Let me tell you. She's in such great light here right now. It shows her off so nicely. What a difference. This video is so much nicer. Wow. Oh, she just cuts the wind. Cut the air too. Man, this flies so beautifully. I'm telling you, I love planes with weight. You know, we didn't set a timer, did we, hon? No. Yeah, that, that could be a mistake. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring it in. I love planes with weight. This is a heavy plane, and it flies completely unlike little light planes. Okay, gear down, flaps down one notch. All right, a little rough, but not bad. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. Well, we flipped it over at the end, but you know, some things just can't be helped. But here, I'll, uh, whoa, you, you know what happened? These caught on something, I think, uh -oh. when they got to the end of the runway. Oh. But I'll bet that these aren't bent at all. Let's put them up and see what happens. They are not. Wow, see that? wow. They just fit right back in the holes because they have those springs built into the legs. Oh, that's and awesome. the legs are made of really good steel. This is good steel these spring legs are made out of. There it is. The prop is not loose. That saw sound that you heard with it going by is what this sounds like when you slow it down. <laughs> see this? Got a fan in the front. This is the fan like on the original FW190. There was a fan in the front of the radial engine to blow more air on it. That's what this is. This air goes, blows through here into the speed controller, the battery, and the motor, and is exhausted out through these exhaust ports right here, which are the original exhaust ports for the real plane, and also some additional exhaust ports down here in the belly. So this baby runs beautifully. It runs cool. It's, and it's a cool plane, let me tell you something. All right, let's put this up again before the sun goes down. Right. So I have a little battery latch. And what about those guns too? It's pretty neat. These are the guns, the they, nose they mounted machine guns. Really nicely. It doesn't have the wing mounted cannons that these are the fairings for the cannons. So I'm going to put some tubes in here to imitate with the cannons the way they look, which I forgot all about. But this is the way we have this set up. Receiver back here. We have our wires taped down. They go down into the bottom and we have changed the location of the battery so that it slides in on top of the nose 
the real location of the battery, it's supposed to go down like that, and we have the speed controller in there. And Steve's handy little tape on the end of the battery so we can get it out of there. We this love is that. Your battery love handle. That battery handle trick. Need battery handles. It's cool. Speed controller is cool. I can't get my finger in there, but I'll bet the motor's cool too. Everything's cool. We're talking, I mean, we know it's cool, but we're talking to temperature. You know what I'm saying? This time we're flying a 20C battery. That last one was a 30C. Mmm, beautiful. Oh man. Look at that sucker climb out, man. Unbelievable. Three cell battery. Let me tell you, three cell battery and a, a plane that I must weigh 1600 grams at this point, the way that we have it set up with the crash proofing and the bigger battery. I'm sorry, did that look real enough? That's beautiful. Or did that look, was that a dream I just had? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Give me some more planes like this. Look at this sucker. Yeah. Oh yeah. Gorgeous. Oh man, what a plane. And it's nearly as fast with the 20 feet. It might heat the battery up more, I don't know. We're gonna have to find out when we, when we get the thing back in. But it's flying very nicely on a 20C battery. It's a little slower. But I mean, you know, does that seem slow to you? No. <laughs> Went out of the sun. Well, that's pretty. Man, what a plane. Wow. Wow. This is another plane, man. This follows the prop. You know, you need to do something like climb out of some kind of trouble, nail it, and pull the stick back like this. And it just follows the prop, man. I want to see a plane. Point that prop up, and the plane follows it. Does anyone that can get ahead of the prop? Come on. No more gusts. This might be it. Might be your window. Easy, easy, easy. Come on, you can do it. Easy. Yes! All right, oh. all right. <laughs> it's a resilient prop that didn't slide very much. Just a little bit. Lots of gusts coming down the runway while I'm trying to land. We had to do what, four approaches? Five mm -hmm. approaches to try to get in here? So, uh, but we finally got it down, which means I'm a happy man. This is a gorgeous plane. We're gonna stock these by hook or by crook. If I have to sell them without making a profit, I'm going to get these planes so that you can have one because it is beautiful. This, I'm, if every plane flew like this, I would be a seriously happy man. Well, I'm seriously a happy man now. The lovely Denise keeps me that way. I would be even happier believe it or not. So Steve from Killer Planes signing off. Ooh, look at that butt. Yeah, baby. Woo!